Welcome to Scoutadelic. This is the Summit Bechtel Reserve in wild and wonderful West Virginia. Let's check it out. The world of scouting is amazing and since episode 70 I've been trying to visit some amazing locations whether that be memorials, uh, parks or islands and there's some amazing places all around the world. However, with the pandemic being as it is, I'm unable to travel to every single location that I'd like to do. However, I can do it virtually. This month I've got the honour to visit the Summit Batchel reserve and if i've got that right then my co-host is brilliant because he taught me how to say it. if not then well it's it's his fault blame him but this month is all about amazing bsa stuff whether it's exploring the impressive million acres of land that the summit has or learning some new skills or doing things differently this month is all about it, but I need a really amazing co-host, and I think I've got it. So, who is my co-host going to be this month? Let's find out. Hello, I'm Kevin O'Keefe. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for the Summit Bechtel Reserve, and this is my 60-second scouter. What got you into scouting? I started in scouting uh, back when I was probably five years old. So in the Boy Scouts of America, that would be considered the Tiger Cubs and haven't looked back since. What's the highest rank you've been? The highest rank that I have achieved in scouting in the BSA is the Eagle Scout. What's your favorite food? I definitely love a good chili or stew, especially if you can cook it in a Dutch oven right by the fire. So what does your role at the summit do? To really help tell the story of the summit to scouts, both um, in the US as well as around the world, to say, this is all of the cool things that we do at the summit and you know, really show what it is and why the summit is so special. Best skill you've learned in scouting? I would say the best skill that I have learned in scouting is leadership. What events are you looking forward to in 2022? The Rover Rally uh, that's being held at the summit. Um, and so it is actually going to be, we're inviting scouts from all over the world to come out to the Summit Bechtel Reserve and have kind of like a moot-like experience. Thanks again uh, for answering all those amazing questions. So how are you today? I'm doing very well. Good, good. How about you? <laughs> I'm, I'm doing all right. Um, obviously, this is, uh, I haven't done like a, a, a Zoom like sort of episode for quite some time now. So I feel out of touch <laughs> with the world, as it were. Um, especially when I think you're, you're like sort of six hours behind me. So it's, yeah, it's, it's trying to figure out where we are in the, in the time, time frame uh, of things. So yeah. it's my 73rd episode. I've been doing this for 73 months. I know I still haven't aged a bit. Um, so the, uh, usually my co-host teaches me a scouting skill and you're going to teach me something quite interesting that's also related to um, an activity that is part of the summit. So what are you going to teach me? Okay, so uh, I think what I'm going to try to do today um, is I'm going to teach you a variation of a knot that you may have already learned. Uh -huh. um, and then if you're lucky, um, I might teach you an extra little knot as well. So, so how big a rope right. do I need? So I would say I have the rope that I have here, um, is probably, um, about a meter long. So the rope that you have there looks great. Thank you. That is a great way to start. <laughs> so the knot that I'm going to teach you today, um, is a variation on the figure eight knot. I think to get started and what might make it easier is you said you have already learned the figure eight knot. Is that correct? 
Yes. If I get it wrong, I might have to, I might need some assistance. That's that's what it is. Yeah, I'm just I'm just bigging you up a bit more. I'm, oh yeah, I need, I need some assistance on this figure, mate. Right? <laughs> no worries. So let's do let's do a quick refresher on the figure eight knot. Okay. And then um, because that'll be super helpful um, to showing you the double figure eight knot. Ooh. So, so what do you right. use a double of, what do you use this for then? What's what's usually the thing that you use it for? So um, a figure eight knot or a double figure eight knot, both of them can be used in application when you're climbing or rappelling or zip lining. It's a great way to connect a rope to a carabiner. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. All right. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually show you a figure eight on a bite. Um, and a bite is simply a bend in the rope. Um, so, so if you take your rope, um, fold it in half. Yep, yep, you got yep, that. Yep, Perfect. Yep, yep. Okay. And then take the loopy end and uh, make another loop here. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. And then uh, take the loop and go behind your standing end, which is the end that has the ends on it. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, go across in front of you. So I'm going to turn it around here. Across in front of you. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then you're going to take that loop and put it through the loop that you created, and you have a figure eight knot. Yeah. That is a figure eight knot. That Absolutely. Looks, That's yeah. a, a figure eight on a bike. Absolutely. I, I knew that. Yeah. I I obviously uh, knew that. I was just testing you. Um, of course. Sorry. Of course. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so why? So why? So why is that? So what's that? Is, is does that make it tougher or what? What? Yeah, so uh, a figure eight on a bite um, is a way to tie the knot um, kind of in the middle of the string. Um, oh, or right, so you, okay. if you don't have the ends, um, right. you can still tie the figure eight on a bite. Right. Um, okay. I remember doing the figure eight on the end. So that means that if you've got a very long rope and you don't need that end, you can at least get it wherever you need it to be and then do what you need. Yeah, so that's, that's kind of cool. I like that. Oh, that's nice. And then, so you've got your loop, so you can, you know, hook your carabiner to it. You know, so if this was your carabiner, and then this could go to your climbing harness, and you've got your figure eight knot ready to wrap and rope. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to make, so right now there is one loop at the top. Mm -hmm. The next one we're going to do, there's going to be two loops at the top. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I'm excited. <laughs> It's sad <laughs> about that. I'm excited about knots, but there was a right. time when I was when I was a scout, didn't really care about knots. The only one that I remember um, wholeheartedly was the high woman's hitch, and it was just I could do it blindfolded. That's how <laughs> I, I. There was races that we could do, and you know, it just I was just so fascinated by it, and that was the only knot that I remember knowing. Whereas. Yeah, now I'm, I am fascinated about all these other different knots. So, okay, let's awesome. do a... Du so is this a, a double uh, figure of eight on a bite, or is this just a, a double figure of eight? No, that's good. Um, so it, it is a double figure eight on a bite because we're starting, right? We're starting with the rope um, okay. with a bend in it, which yep. is a bite. So right. okay. starting the same way. So what we're going to do is the first... Um, like the first 75% of the knot mm -hmm. is very similar to what we just did. Okay. Um, okay, so this time, give yourself a little bit more. So maybe uh, 20 centimeters. Okay. Is that, yep. Yeah. Then you're going to go behind again. Yeah. Um, so behind you. Yeah, and yeah. then in front again. In front again, yeah. And previously, we would have taken... Uh, the bite and just put it through the hole, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this time, what we're going to do um, mm -hmm. is you're going to lay it behind, but not Ooh. actually go through the hole. Okay. So what you're going to do then is you're going to reach through and grab the two pieces, and just kind of put your finger in like that. Reach in like that, like that. Yep. Yeah. And then, okay. so take the end of your rope. Yeah. Um, so the, the bite. Yeah. That uh, that little loop there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're going to... So you're going to fold it 
all the way over the bottom of the knot. So then you have two loops. It's a little tricky, no worries. <laughs> Now you tell me. It's a little tricky. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, Mike, probably not going to get this right, but hey. <laughs> so um, you're going to reach through. Um, so I'm trying so to do this backwards the, reach here. Through the, ah, reach through the two hoops here to pull Correct. this one through like Correct. that. Right. But before, okay. you, before you pull it through, yeah. Um, so take your other hand. Yeah. Um, so take your left hand. Uh-huh. Yep, and, and then take, yep, and then that is like while you're holding on to those same two loops, you're going to take that end loop and go all the way around to the bottom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a mess there. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. You Ooh, are no there. way. No way have I right. done that. No yeah. way have I done that. How <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am in amazement of that because I was like, <laughs> this does not look. I'll just keep oh wow. Oh, no wait way. a second. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. So this is used then for so this is used for climbing as well. But why is there now too is that for some other different reasons or so with the two mm -hmm. um so especially like if you were um if you were anchoring something um, oh, okay and yeah. you wanted um so you could you know go to two different places if you wanted to right. or okay um the fact that you have two now even if one rope were to break you've got a second loop there so oh, nice. Okay, so you can either use one for an anchor and then have the the person on there like that, or use both. And then if one snaps, you've always at least got that that backup. Wow, I am. Mind is blown. This is amazing. Mind is more blown. I actually <laughs> could do it. So that's ace. Nice. Oh my god. Oh, that's brilliant. I'm loving that. I'm, yeah. putting that, I'm putting that on my uh, scouting CV that I can do that now. <laughs> right? That's brilliant. Thanks very much. That's nice. Love you it. That. That's nice. So you guys have been either online like me right now or offline uh, in scouting halls or out of scouting halls doing that many different things during December month. So these are the photos that you guys did last month. Here we go. Okay, so this next month, make sure to take pictures or video of all the cool scouting things that you're up to. Um, post those on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram and go ahead and tag Scoutadelic. So we are here in wild and wonderful West Virginia uh, and here is 15 fantastic facts about the Summit Bechtel Reserve. The Summit is over 10 thousand acres in size. To put that in perspective, the city of London is roughly 716 acres, which means the summit is 22 times larger than the city of London, and it's all devoted to scouts. One of the cool things about the Scout Visitor Center porch, actually, is the rock that I'm standing on right here is actually sandstone that was mined right here from the site during the construction of the summit. The family adventure camp located here at the summit is actually one of three owned by the BSA. The other two are located in Florida at the BSA Sea Base and out in New Mexico at Philmont Scout Ranch. Right behind me is the Joe Crafton Skills Center, which is home to a 12 bay state of the art laser shot shooting gallery. So that means without ever firing any bullets, you can learn the safety about guns and learn how to shoot safely in an environment where it's all virtual. A really cool fact about the summit 
is that there are nine high adventure activity areas located all around the site to check out some really cool activities for older scouts or scouts that are looking for a little bit more adventure. So right behind me is the John Harkey X Zone, which is also home to some canopy tours and four challenge courses. The other cool thing about the X Zone is that it's home to the Harvey Mountain Bike Shop and there are over 70 miles of multi-use trails all across the Summit property. Did you know that at the Summit Bechtel Reserve, we're actually helping restore the American chestnut tree along with the help from the American Chestnut Foundation. At locations all around the summit, you can see uh, small groves of trees, chestnut trees to be exact, that are actually hybrid chestnut trees that are resistant to the fungal path pathogen that causes a blight that between the 1800s and 1950s killed an estimated four billion chestnut trees. It's a pretty cool thing. The console energy bridge behind me is a wingtip bridge that is actually inspired by the wings of an eagle. The summit was designed so that it could be the home of all future National Scout Jamborees for the Boy Scouts of America, and on a fun side note, was also the host of the 2019 World Scout Jamboree. We're here at Goodrich Lake West, one of four lakes on the summit property. So there is Goodrich Lake West, Goodrich Lake East, Tridave Lake, and Tickle Lake over in Echo Base Camp. The park here at the summit, when it was built, it was the second largest skatable surface in the United States. If you look closely as you're driving around or cruising around the summit, you might see something that looks kind of like this. And you might ask yourself, what the heck is that? It's probably something boring. But it's actually way cooler than that. The land that the summit is located on used to be the site of an active coal mine. And these are the ventilation shafts that used to go down to the coal mine. Now it's not safe for visitors or scouts to go down in, but we've kept them open so that they can be used as a habitat for bats and other small creatures. So one cool fact about the shooting range here at the summit, during the 2019 World Scout Jamboree, when we had 50,000 people from all over the world, scouts from almost 120 something countries, we shot over 1 million rounds of ammunition here at the summit, right here at the shooting range. The summit uh, is specially designed for jamborees. So we have five, nope, six different base camps that can each hold between eight and 10,000 scouts, leaders, people, each, um, each with their own bathrooms and Wi-Fi and everything like that. Each of the base camps are, uh, they're assigned a letter. So you have A or Alpha, B, C, D, E, and F, or as the staff call them here, you've got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and Foxtrot. The summit has over five and a half miles of zip lines all around the property. And right now we're standing at the big zip, at the top of the big zip here, um, our largest of our zip lines here at the summit. Uh, the big zip has five lines. It's over 3,300 feet long. And at its height, um, at its longest height, is you're almost 125 feet off of the ground. You can reach speeds of up to 55 miles an hour. It's part of the show where I verse my co-host. <laughs> um, now, last year I tied with my co-host. This year it's a brand new start, so um, it's it's anyone's game. And today we're going to be playing um, Alpha Scout on host v co-host. So the idea is there are some certain topics in this orange envelope, which... I probably did like sort of many moons ago, so I can't actually remember what's in here. So the idea is topics in there. So we, uh, I pick, I'll pick out a topic and then whoever's going first starts with the letter A and then tries their way to get through the, uh, the alphabet. Okay. Then the other person okay. has the same topic, but has to beat that letter. So say for example, you know, you, it was, it was, I don't know, um, fruit. And you got to the letter D, I'd have to 
get to E to win. Otherwise, you've won it totally. Okay. But you only okay. have 30 seconds. All right. Mm. So it's a bit more harder. Um, so therefore, you, you don't have like a minute pondering um, this, that, and the other. You've got 30 seconds to get as far into the alphabet as possible. Now, I won last time for last month. Um, so that means that my co host, which is yourself, gets to go first, which gives you an advantage. But it's one of those. I also cannot repeat anything that you have said. So if it's a really tough topic, I'm going to struggle on this. You've got 30 seconds. All right. And um, I will randomly pick a topic for you. Good luck with that. And the topic is things packed for a camp. Okay. So things packed for a camp. You start with A and then obviously A and then B, C, D and so on and so forth until you either the clock finishes or you can't say it or, you know, you, you're stuck. All right. Okay. okay. So your 30 seconds. <laughs> I was going to give you like sort of uh, 20 minutes then. Let me change that. 30 seconds <laughs> starts now. A aqua uh, bottle. Oh, okay. Camping tent. Uh, you need to go with uh, B. Uh, bottle. So aqua. Oh, bottle. oh then, right. Oh, right. Okay. Bottle. I get yeah, it. Now. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> C canten uh, canteen. Okay. Uh, D is uh... and that's just thirty seconds. That, oh. That's it. <laughs> hey, that's fine for me. So I've got to get to D, otherwise you've won that one. Okay. All right. Okay. So my 30 seconds start, and I can't use any of the ones that you've said. Okay. So my 30 seconds start now. So an air mat, um, you said a bottle, um, a backpack, always carry a backpack with you. Um, you went canteen, so I'm going to go with uh, a camping, uh, no, I'm going to go with a, um, um something i a cup a cup um d then d come on D uh, divining rod <laughs> you never know you might need water e e um e would be and that's all right i don't really need it because it's time so there we are then so that's one that's one nil to me so far okay, okay. so okay. that doesn't mean anything it could it could be anyone's game still you could still win this for the co-hosts i'm not gonna cheat here so we have animals in a forest. Okay. So animals in a forest. Now, obviously, you, you've got a massive uh, reservoir, oh, well, reserve. So I'm sure there's tons of animals. So you're, you're already reeling them all off. But I've got, I'm starting first on this one. So my 30 seconds start now. A is for an aardvark. Um, I'm sure there's an aardvark. Uh, B, a uh, beaver um uh, then um c um uh, a canary maybe um d there's always a random dog walking around in woods i'm sure of it um d e e uh, elephant um there are elephants in in uh, jungles um so forest jungles uh, e f f f frogs uh, i'm sure there's uh, forest frogs uh, g g uh, g uh, that's my time then you've got to get g to win Okay. And you can't go for any that I've done. So I did write them down just in case. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds start now. Uh, uh, now. There we go. Uh, a, we will go with an antelope. Ooh, uh, okay. B, we will go with a black bear. Yep. C, we will go with a chipmunk. D, we will go with a... Uh, you're gonna hate me because i already know one <laughs> uh, it's almost like you're in headlights I'm out right I, a deer um e <laughs> is a uh, i helped you there i helped you there but your 30 <laughs> seconds are up <laughs> well that means two nil i don't want to brag <laughs> but there we are there we are thank you i'm, I'm gonna yeah. 
I'm going to I'm going to do a dub for the win. I think that's how the kids do it nowadays. You dub for the win. So um it is 1-0. Um uh, I have got 11 months to go. <laughs> so I'm starting well. So I appreciate it. I appreciate that you've obviously you've done that to help me out. I know of it. I know, I know you know. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you very much. But yeah. 1-0. Let's see if I can obviously uh beat any other co-host this year. <laughs> And that is the end of our show. Don't forget to give us a like, share, and comment below. Um, could you have beat me? What was uh, any other animals that you could have thought of? And by participating, you can get one of these amazing badges that we have. And a big thanks to our patrons, which are Heather, Ervin, Joseph, Lara, Mark, Marcus, Mark, Martin, Percy, Rob, Roger, and Steve. Well done. Thanks, guys. And above all else, be a little scouted out. Hey, goodbye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>